Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your morning coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this is going to be a general energy reading for Thursday, October 25th, 2018. Thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everyone um, got through the full moon okay last night. Um, it was pretty uneventful for me. I had kind of planned on, you know, doing like a ritual of writing out a bunch of stuff that I wanted to release and then burning it under the full moon, but then that just never happened. <laughs> it just never happened. I made dinner and stayed in, ended up falling asleep fairly early. But anyway, let's get into the cards for the day and see what spirit wants to talk about. Yeah, the messages for today. Now keep in mind, first, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, this is not sign specific, this is not love or career specific. Also, um, energies are fluid, so just because it is coming, the messages are coming through today, does it not mean it has to resonate today, okay? It could resonate later on down the line, all right? So with that said, let's get started. Hi Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the collective today. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for Thursday, October 25th, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right guys, so at first, I was seeing green. Um, green is, you know, heart chakra. It's healing. Um, it's also an earthly color. Full moon was in Taurus. I feel like um, that full moon was pretty healing for a lot of us. Quite, quite healing. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, and so I'm seeing yellow and orange, too. I really, it's like I'm seeing all of the lower chakras here. I really feel like that full moon last night really helped us to ground, um, to clear away some space, to clear out some of the gook, the muck, some of the things that have been blocking our lower chakras. I'm just, I'm seeing, I'm seeing the lower chakras, the sacral, the solar plexus, and then the root very clearly right now. It's very interesting um, with the heart chakra up top. So that's good. Thursday, October 25th, yellow. Clear and concise action. Um, I also, this is excellent. I really feel like a lot of us were able to clear out our solar plexus, which, um, you know, is the center of our willpower. So I'm seeing yellow and I'm hearing clear and decisive action. So I really feel like, um, and even if you didn't actually do it in the full, the, the, uh, the night of the full moon, I'm being guided to, to share with you guys that you still have some of those energies to work with. Okay. So, um, you can still pull on some of the energies of the full moon in order to continue to clear your solar plexus, to clear up um, your willpower to free up your your mind when it comes to your willpower, free up anything that has been blocking you from doing what it is you truly desire, okay? Some of those energies are still available for you to use. One more shuffle for Thursday, October 25th, 2018. Here we go, guys. Let's see what we've got for today. Okay. Right Let's see what these are. The Three of Swords. Ooh, and the Ace of Cups. My, my. Okay, and the Seven of, so far, the Seven of Cups is underneath the deck. And, um... Wow, that's an interesting combination. The Ace of Swords and the, I'm sorry, the Ace of Cups and the Three of Swords. Now the Three of Swords here in this deck talks about disappointment, okay? Um, and I really feel like 
especially with the Seven of Cups underneath the deck, I feel like there is definitely an energy of lessons being learned, okay? Um, and some of us, a lot of us coming out of a sort of delusion, what does, what is that delusion? It really could be anything. Um, the biggest thing that I'm getting right now is delusion around um, a certain individual, a certain situation. Um, it's interesting. Because what I'm getting with the Ace of Cups and the Three of Swords so far is that some of us are starting to find self-love, okay? Because the, the Ace of Cups is very much about self-love here, okay? Um, I mean, it can be an offer, you know, from someone else of love. But for this, for right now, I'm getting this is about self-love. And this is about finding self-love after heartbreak, disappointment, okay? Finding finding value and love for the self through heartbreak and disappointment. And that's been a central theme for a lot of us lately. Um, some of the delusions here that could be spoken to with the Seven of Cups, the confusion. It's also a lot of confusion, but some of the delusion here is, you know, um, choosing to stay in a situation, you know, while quite aware or well aware that, you know, it's really not going to change the way you want it to anytime soon. Um, staying in, staying emotionally invested or physically even invested in situations that um, are not fruitful, are not beneficial, and kind of deluding ourselves into thinking that, you know, or uh, allowing ourselves to believe that, you know, it's going to change for the better when we know in our heart that, you know, the thing is something is really just not for us. Okay. Or at least it's not even, it, it, it could be for, it could have been for you at one time, but now it's not benefiting you, um, because it's really not changing. Okay. It's not expanding, even though you may be on a process or a path of expansion. Okay, so actually, in that case, then another thing that's coming through is knowing when to walk away in favor of me uh, of yourself, you know, in favor of maintaining your balance because you have self love and the self respect to know when to let something go, even though you know you may have at one point really wanted to be invested in it, really, really did invest yourself into it. Um, and it's understanding that there's, there's a lot coming through just from these two cards, but it's understanding that even though you may have made a commitment to something, you made, um, a, a deep investment to it. If it's detrimental, if it's not serving you, if it's hurting you, um, and tearing you down, you do not have to honor that commitment. You don't. Just because you made a commitment to something does not mean that you have to put up with abuse, whether that be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, that kind of thing, okay? So it's coming out of the Three of Swords energy, which is which is a tough lesson, really. It's like, I almost find myself wanting to ask why we have to go through a Three of Swords situation, go through heartbreak and deception, lies to you, what, whatever you went through, in order to find self-love. But that's kind of, it's, it's like it's it's kind of how our reality is design is set up you know we learn through contrast a lot mostly we learn through contrast and so we have to a lot of the time we have to experience the pain in order to appreciate things in order to appreciate what we have um what we're capable of maybe even appreciate what we don't have that kind of thing you know all right let's see what else we've got here thursday Woo! oh look at that so what just flew out on the three of swords oh, wow i mean this is this is what i was just talking about here okay and underneath the deck now we have the two of wands so a decision okay I'll get there in a second. But what just flew out on the Three of Swords is strength. 
<laughs> the star, five of cups, oh my, and the five of swords, all right? And underneath the deck is the two of wands, so. Ooh, okay, let's talk about this. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put the five of cups and the five of swords here, okay? Because the five of cups and the five of swords, this is basically what happened in the three of swords, okay? Um, the, now, the five with the five of swords energy, I'm picking up external influences, heavy external influences. And th there is definitely an energy here of both parties now in retrospect um, feeling regret or remorse for what has happened in the past, okay? And you do see, we do have this full moon here on the Five of Cups. So we are talking about something that is being released here within the full moon. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, this is clarifying the Three of Swords here. And then I'm going to take some more, I'm going to pull, I'm going to do one more pull for the Ace of Cups. And then we'll see, well, no. I'll, I'll clarify the Ace of Cups with um, another deck, but all right. So this is this is <laughs> this is what's happening here. Um, but you see, throughout all of this, with the Five of Cups and the Five of Swords here, that is past energy. I feel like if some of you are might still dealing with the energy, it's on its way out. Okay, and I say that because you have strength and the star throughout all of this stuff all this shit yeah all this fuckery with the five of swords um one upmanship shit starters i mean the five of swords often um you know the peanut gallery is what i call it with it comes out or the external influences come out with the five of wands but specifically in the energies that i'm picking up here the five of swords is a lot of external influence and there are some people, there are some individuals, whether that be you, the viewer, or someone that you've been dealing with, is feeling a lot of regret and remorse in allowing that external influence to sway the situation. Because I really feel like it's a, it's an energy of there's like really at this point there's no going back. Obviously, you can't take anything of what you've done back either party. Okay, um, but there's a lot of regret and remorse here. But this is a lesson in the dichotomy. Okay, a lesson in the contrast. You have the star and strength. Strength has been built here. Um, strength in standing up to others, standing up for what you believe in, um, you know, standing up to any sort of bullying or whatever not, whatever, what, what not may have gone on. Um, and the star is healing. Hope, faith. I mean, it's a beautiful thing, you know, to go through such pain and turmoil and come out on the other side with strength, hope, healing, and self-love, okay? I mean, these three go together here. The, it, this is everything that was learned through the contrast of all this negativity over here. The Three of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Five of Cups. Well, looks like you came out on top with the Ace of Cups, Strength, and the Star, okay? It's beautiful. So now, because of that, you get to choose with the Two of Wands. Where is it you want to go now? What is the next lesson that you want to learn? I'm literally seeing a lot of us kind of at a crossroads here, but it's not a bad thing. It's actually a really beautiful thing. It's like you're choosing which lesson you want to learn next, what experiences you want to have next. And that's, that's excellent. I really feel like a lot of us, and I do say us because, you know, often these readings resonate with me. Um, you know, I'm here, I'm here living a life just like you guys. So why wouldn't some of, <laughs> some of my situation come up, you know? Um, but then also we're all connected, you know, regardless of however you want to label things, star seed, like her, star child, indigo, twin flame, whatever. We're all one and the same. Literally, we are all brothers and sisters. We are all connected. So yes, I say we, because I'm 
I'm talking to us and talking to the collective here, okay? But I really feel like a lot of us have really stepped up, really leveled up. I mean, and it's it's, it's to the point where I really feel like um, gratitude, well, gratitude is always in, in needed or is always necessary, okay? Um, to show gratitude is an option, of course, but it's, it, 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 it the practice of, of holding gratitude is something that is really beneficial, okay? regardless of what the situation is. And I really feel like for what many of us have gone through here, which is what's symbolized by the Three of Swords, Five of Cups, and Five of Swords, work on holding gratitude for that situation. Because, I mean, obviously you come out on top. Ace of Cups, Strength of the Star. So it's only served to make you a better person, a stronger person. Maybe a, in a lot of ways more authentic, okay? I mean, it's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. So I'm going to clarify. I'm not going to clarify much, though. I'm going to clarify the Ace of, Sword, the Ace of Cups, Strength, and the Star. I don't want to clarify this shit. This shit's in the past, okay? We already know what that is. The Three of Swords, Five of Cups, and Five of Swords. I want to see... Let's clarify the now. The energy of now. Where we are now with the Ace of Cups. Self-love, strength, belief, star, the star, hope, faith, that kind of thing, okay? Give me a second here. Let me just get a quick shot going. Thursday, October 25th. For clarify. Ace of Cups, Strength, and the Star. Let's see. Okay, cool. So I'm being called to look underneath the deck already. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Nurturing, caring, loving, compassionate. Um, and this is an energy that I'm feeling like is something that you're holding for yourself, okay? As the With the Ace of Cups here. The Queen of Pentacles, this is like that nurturing, that mothering energy. And I really feel like you're holding it for yourself for the most part. You've come to a place where you can hold this for yourself. It's un, it's really, it, I want to say unconditional love. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, she's an earthly being, so obviously she's very aware of the conditions of life, okay? But that doesn't stop her from loving or her children, her companions, her family, her friends, whatever. Um, the Queen of Pentacles very much gives off a lot of that nurturing and abundant energy that the Empress embodies. Now, the Empress is all, is the Queen of Queens. She's all queens put into one. But the abundant and nurturing and fertile energy that the Empress gives off um, is embodied here in the Queen of Pentacles. And I really feel like a lot of us are holding that energy for ourselves now. So let's get some clarification here. Okay, see, it's so funny. That's enough. All right, cool. It's so funny. So, so funny. Oh, here we go. <laughs> wow, guys. Yeah, so we really have a choice to make. It's almost like with the Two of Wands here is underneath this deck. It's almost like the universe, well, not almost, the universe is rewarding us. Excellent. Job well done. Now, which direction would you like to go in? And bonus, bonus, you get an extra little boost because you did really well. That's what I, that's literally what I'm feeling right now. Um, and it's so funny because as I was reading through the cards before, as I was reading through the cards before, I kept saying the Ace of Cups, I, when I went to say the Ace of Cups, I kept trying to say the Ace of Swords. There we go. Ace of Swords. This is the aha moment. This is the epiphany. This is the understanding that comes from dealing with all of this situation, dealing with this dichotomy, okay? We've got... Wow, guys. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, we've got uh, the star is here again. So we've got the star clarifying the star. <laughs> we also have movement, the six of swords and the chariot. We've got movement, guys. This, is, this isn't this is just, you know, regular six of, six of wards, six of wards, six of swords, um, you know, moving on, 
to rough to, from rough waters to calmer waters. This is like serious, serious movement. This is a big shift, major, major shift happening for us here. Okay, with the chariot and the six of swords. All right, and then with that, very, very interesting. Okay, with that, we've got we now we do have the seven of cups again. And the Seven of Cups came out in the beginning. That was underneath the deck before I did that second pull. Now, this is different than this, this energy at least, is different than the Seven of Cups that came out before. The Seven of Cups that came out before was talking about the delusion of the situation, wanting to stay in the situation, wanting it to change, but deep down in your heart knowing that it wouldn't. Now, I, I, speaking from experience here with this, with my own personal life, um, you know, it was pretty hard to come out of the situ to come out of a situation when you have your intuition and energies pulling at you, saying that you know to believe and to trust and just just stick with it for a little bit longer. Um, so I don't want anyone to to think that I'm calling you delusional if you were listening to your intuition, if you were listening to your heart. But at the same time, um, there was some delusion in the sense that you know. There was some, uh, there was some evidence, some physical evidence or whatnot that was showing, that was like kind of showing you, and, but in order to really get the lesson, you had to go through the rest of the situation. Okay, um, there is also delusion on the part of the other side of the of the situation, like where the um, abuse was. We'll say, whether that be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, manipulative, whatever. There was a delusion there too, okay? Um, but I don't want to get into that. <laughs> I just, I, that, that's too deep, too dark, too heavy, and I just don't want to get into that. But um, here, with this Seven of Cups, this is now the choice, the options. Okay, well, where do we go from here? This feels a lot lighter. This feels like that reward that the universe is handing to you. It's like, okay, you did such a good job. Now you have options. You might have a lot of options. <laughs> okay, it's more than just being at a fork in the road and you have one, you, you can pick one of two ways. No, for many of us, this fork in the road that we find ourselves in has a bunch of different lanes. So now it's about deciding which way we want to go. Okay, we've got three aces here, the ace of cups, the ace of swords, and now the ace of pentacles with the knight of cups. Okay, this is, this is you for many of us. Okay. This is you having, what I'm seeing here is you having your full cup and ready to march forward with um, intentions of making some sort of offer, okay? The Knight of Cups is often about an invitation, okay? So I really feel like with, these, with what happened with this full moon here, all the clearing, the cleansing, and the healing that we've gone through, we have really opened the door, opened the pathway for either someone else to come in and make an offer to us, or us, you, making the offer to someone else, being ready, being, having that full cup, that autonomy, that is been a cent has been a central theme for a long time. Autonomy, um, really having that freedom to now make an offer to someone else, and it's really it could be a stable offer. Um, I really like seeing the Knight of Cups here. With the Ace of Pentacles, I mean, this is this to me is more than just you know a shy and timid, like hey, let's go out on a date. I mean, it might start; it'll probably start that way. But to me, this feels something. This feels really solid. This is like really wanting a commitment at this point. Um, really being willing to accept a commitment, making a really solid offer. I mean, you're 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 bringing the emotion, but then you're bringing the the stability, the 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 physicality of it, with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, that's really awesome, guys. That really feels like a great place to be. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it feels like a really great place to be. Okay, 
And again, uh, one thing I want to say again, um, the Ace of Swords is the aha moment. It's the epiphany, but it's it's cutting things out. It's loving yourself and know enough to know when to walk away, when to cut something out. And I don't want anyone to think that, the, that I'm making them, th or I'm trying to say you stayed in a situation too long. That's not what I'm saying. You were in the situation for as long as you needed to, to reach the Ace of Swords, to reach the aha moment, the epiphany, and to also reach the Ace of Cups, to come into union with yourself. Even though we didn't get the Two of Cups, the union with yourself is coming into play with loving yourself and honoring yourself and developing that self-love, having that self-love, to take your Ace of Swords and cut out the shit. No matter how much that it they or it may have meant to you at a t at the time, cutting that out was the best thing you could have done, because now you've got all this healing and moving moving forward, and now you've got all these other options ahead of you that feel a lot better than the Seven of Cups that came out before. Okay. All right. So now let's do our let's see what the Oracle card is for today. Thursday, October 25th, 2018. I'm seeing orange now, guys. So there's um, a lot of emotional feeling that's happening here. And I really feel like what I'm seeing right now is influenced by the messages that came out here. You know, some of you are really starting to accept your emotions. You're starting to feel better about the situation just from this little conversation here. And I'm really grateful for that. I'm, I'm glad I can help you guys not be so upset with yourselves. <laughs> Please, don't be so hard on yourself. Have hope and faith. I mean, you got the star here twice. That's pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> and then the two of wands. I mean, look at that. The two of wands is underneath the deck in both situations. Your main deck and your clarifier. So, I'm going to go ahead and say the choice is yours, guys. Sure is. All right, Spirit, what do we have for today? What do you today? There we go. And this one, too. Ah, uh, look at that. All right, underneath the deck, you have purification. Okay. So this is definitely a good thing. All right. Um, this is, you've gone through. This, you, 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 you've reached a state of purification and that purification is coming through from this cleansing and the he healing that's happening. This, the, yeah, the healing that's happening with the star. The star is here twice, okay? You've got, got a, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you've got card 44, goddess Bastet and cat's eye, sacred pleasure. And to me, this really, ta look, this really talks about the um, sacral chakra for me. You can't talk about the root chakra too, but this is the energies of the sacral chakra coming through here. And we've got, ah, a, a, a card number 12, Angel Raziel and Piatricite, Storm Wisdom. Okay, and that just came out a few days ago. And to me, that's really talking about the energies of the full moon that we just came out of. Okay. All right. We're going to start with Storm Wisdom. We bring you the gift of storm wisdom. This is the fierce cleansing nature of divine compassion made manifest in the world. Storm wisdom thrills the spirit, for it understands that so much benefit and liberation will come from the process, yet the mind may quake at the pro prospect of such little control over how your life events are unfolding for a time. What is happening during an experience of storm wisdom is that anything that has become stagnant or obstructing to your spiritual growth will be uprooted. You may find that the divine storm of transformation powering through your life creates a feeling of upheaval, creative chaos, uncertainty, and excitement. You may feel simultaneously liberated and exhilarated whilst, you want, whilst also wondering if everything is going to be okay. You, rest, you, excuse me, you must remember that you will only be asked to give up something in order to receive that which is far more beautiful and supportive of your sacred life journey. You must also remember that a cleansing power of the storm will, vitalize, will revitalize you. I'm sorry. The cleansing power of the storm will revitalize you. 
bring you fresh energy and perspective to take forward in your journey and is a divine blessing which will only bring good into your life. And I know many of us feel like the situations that were coming out of very was very much like a storm. I know mine was. It was literally like this hurricane that just took over everything. And it uprooted me and threw me across the country or across the landscape or whatever and dropped me here where I am now. And to be quite honest, I couldn't be more grateful for it. In the end, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, And so in retrospect, <laughs> excuse me, in retrospect, even though the situation was tumultuous and crazy and I look back on it and I cringe a little, <laughs> I, ultimately it, it helped me get to where I am right now. So I'm still grateful for it. And so that's really what storm wisdom here is is alluding to. And then especially with purification that was underneath the deck, I mean, we there's a lot of cleansing that has really come about from this situation. Okay, so last but not least, we have sacred pleasure. Mm, gosh, excuse me, guys. Okay, sacred pleasure. We bring you the empowerment of sacred pleasure. It is said that the spirit had to be enticed into the body to give up its complete freedom and willingly take on an experience of limitation that could lead to divine growth. It needed to deal to it needed the deal to be sweetened. So, music was created, music that could only be felt and expressed through the body. Spirit jumped in like a flash and life was created. There is more life that can be created in you and your world. Although there were, there are undoubtedly struggles as a natural part of opening up to more life, there is divine sweetness too. That is the gift of sacred pleasure. This is the pleasure that gives you joy in your aliveness. It is innocent, sensual, and life-affirming. It is time for you to receive more of this. The oracle says it's time to put a little sugar in your bowl. And that is absolutely the choice that is before us, a lot of us. It's that moment when the universe sweetens the deal and it says, you did such a good job, what do you want to, what do you want to achieve next? So great, I mean, this is really, this is really an excellent energy, guys. Um, this really feels great. Con congratulations to a lot of you, to all of you really, that have surmounted your mountain, climbed the mountain. You made it to the to a plateau and now you get to bask in the sunlight for a little bit before you continue your climb on. That's excellent. It's really, really excellent. All right, guys. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, uh, I hope you all have a great, a great day. Great, great day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.